Clarity on Fire, a podcast for people who know what they don't want out of their life and career, but aren't sure what they'd rather be doing. In a world where it's easy to exist, but hard to feel alive, we, Kristen and Rachel, two certified life and career coaches, are here to help you cut through the information overload, get unstuck, and focus not just on how you can have a career you're passionate about, but how to create a whole life that feels fulfilling. So join us here, where we serve up inspiration and down-to-earth wisdom in a way that only two best friends can. We want you to experience the relief of knowing that, yes, you're allowed to want more out of your life and career. And no, you don't have to wander through the dark anymore. Our job is to light the fire that shows you the way. Let's go. Happy Black Friday. Are we still calling it that? I don't know. Might not be like chill to cool call it anymore. that anymore. I Which is, this, I mean, correct me. If, I'm not tell sure us if we're not where it came from in the first place. It should I'm be called sh- like Discount Friday or yeah, something. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> no idea. Someone, I could, I could Google that. I could do my own research. Someone's probably Googling it right now as we speak. I genuinely, I genuinely hate this day. I think people become the absolute so worst chaotic. version of themselves on on this day, and it's so ironically opposed to what Thanksgiving is. I know, supposed it's to be so about. funny. Like, but like well, being be grateful, grateful for all the other things in life, and then let's go get a giant ass TV. Let's y'all. go buy a bunch more stuff at yeah. two a.m. Well, I'm opting out of this day because the day that this airs, I am on a plane out to my honeymoon in California, and I say no shopping, <laughs> no shopping for me. Um, I might be moving this weekend out of my moldy ass flooded place. Just, you know, <laughs> there's some, some trips for some and there's some trips for others. <laughs> well, we're both uh, traveling. You're just traveling down the street. To my parents' house with all probably. Your, God, God uh, help me. With your U-Haul. I really hope that they put me up somewhere, but we have yet to vote on that. So I need the universe to look out. And maybe... You mean the condo board. Yeah. has yet to vote on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe the universe will. The cards have something to tell me that will be Tell us me about hope. both of our trips. They're very no, different kinds of trips. I don't think, I don't want that to be the thing because I don't think that's going to mean, uh, that's going to mean bad things for somebody and good things for somebody else, probably. I do not want to. No, we want just a in. message in general that will take us through the end of the year. How about that? You can decide what you want this message to be. Well, I'm just saying we're not going to have another one by the not. this end of this, this year. So it'll have to tide you over into the start of 2022. Okay. But before we do that, before we dive into this message from the universe, I want to give you a little, speaking of shopping and buying things, <laughs> but it's not today. So it's fine. <laughs> um, we are We decided we're going to do a little holiday promo in December. So this is just a for your information. Um, it's going to be December 8th through December 17th. We're going to do a discount on the short course, the passion profile short course. We're going to actually take 75 bucks off. We rarely take that much money off of it. It's already like cheap to begin with. Let's yep. be clear. What is it like 250 or something to begin with? 249. Great. Well, <laughs> take 75 bucks off of that. And we let people pay in two installments. Like it's incredibly affordable. We try to make it really affordable. Um, it's a great place to start if you're new to us and you haven't done anything other than like listen to the podcast. And take the passion profile quiz. Of course. Which you definitely want to take right first. <laughs> you know, that's point. what the whole <laughs> that's what the whole course is about. Yeah. So if you are feeling chronically kind of stuck in your career and you keep trying different things and nothing feels like it's working and you keep, you kind of feel like you're living Groundhog's Day. This would be a great place for you to start because it's easy, um, relatively speaking. It's only like six hours ish of mm-hmm. content. You can do it at your own pace, or you can just kind of knock it out all in one day if you wanted to. You could totally do that, and it helps you get clear on what your next steps are going to be in your career um, by using your passion profile to sort of navigate the way. And how long has this thing existed now? Close oh my to goodness, eight years. Yeah, seven probably. Years. Probably at least seven, at least seven, more than seven. Um, hundreds and hundreds of people, thousands of people have taken this, taken the course. We get so much good feedback. This was really clarifying for their mm-hmm. career direction and it helped them 
stop feeling like they were spinning their wheels and feeling like they were just jumping from thing to thing, kind of like a pinball machine. They felt like now they actually can make more intentional choices. Mm -hmm. So the course itself might be enough to set you on the right course. For some of you who maybe have thought about doing some coaching with us, but you, you know, it's a big investment or you're not sure if you need all that. This is a really good place to start. Get a good sense of our style and get some clarity, get, get some clarity, get some, get some blocks and some, you know, things out of the way. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, and then that might help you decide, do I still want some additional coaching or was this all I needed? Mm-hmm. So it's a, it's a great entry point. Yeah. So Again, this is an FYI. We're going to be doing a discount on that between December 8th and December 17th. And and now this is a really special thing, which we have not done in over a year. And hardly, we, we only did, did that the pandemic. because of the pandemic. And we were yeah. trying so, to support people during a really hard time. <laughs> so we are going to be offering a very, very select number of single coaching sessions. So typically the only people who we give single sessions to our former clients because there's a process and you can't expect your whole life to be solved in one hour. However, we are really good. And I have rarely had a single session where they weren't like, oh my God, that was so helpful. Mm -hmm. So if you like the idea of getting to have just a one-off session with us, or maybe you're like, all right, let me see if I want to do more coaching after this, that would be a good way to test it out. And especially if you have something particular that would be really helpful to talk through with a coach. Yeah. If you're just coming to it saying, well, I, don't I don't know, know what to do with my life. Well, we might need to do more than one. Thing. <laughs> well, we might need to laser focus on something for that hour. Exactly. Exactly. Let's see what we can get clarity around in that one hour. That tends to be the most effective use of those single sessions. Yeah. Is if you come to it and you have kind of a you question have an idea or a do. topic that you want to, you want to get to the heart of it. Okay. So that we're going to be offering like a handful of those. And when they're gone, they're gone. Cause we just obviously don't have unlimited time. So we're going to be offering like maybe 10. We don't even know mm-hmm. how many, but it's probably not going to be much more than that. It might be single digits. Probably 10 is close to the max. Basically when we feel like we're done, we're just taking it off the site. So mm-hmm. again, between December 8th and 17th, we will be offering those. Or honestly, it might be gone before December 17th. If everyone sure. signs yeah, up on know. the first day and we're like, nope, no the more of that. The promotion <laughs> will be all the way through the 17th. Yes. The single sessions are going to be because the short course is limited uh, quantity. The short course is self-led. So it doesn't matter how many people sign up for that. Like exactly. uh, we're not, we're, our, our time isn't constrained by that. So um, just FYI. part of, part of the reason that we're doing a short course promotion is because we're in the process of redoing all of the content that's going to be coming out um, probably in January ish, early 2020, we'll say. Mm-hmm. And the price will likely go up then. But the great news is, is that if you are already a member, if you buy the short course now, you get lifetime access to it. Even when all the new content is posted, you don't have to rebuy it for the updated content. So you're going to get in at a much, yeah. I mean, we never, we never really uh, charge this, this little for it. And it's going to be more later. So you're getting a really good deal is what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. And we're going to, we are currently in the process of refreshing it. He needs a new hairdo. Hasn't had one in a while, mm-hmm. you know? Um, okay. That's so you know. That's coming. Announcements are over. <laughs> oh, okay. I feel like we're doing like a PA system like in high school, like announcements. All right, so. Housekeeping. <laughs> on to your message from the universe. Okay. Whew, I've been shuffling this whole time that we've been talking. And you know what? I don't know why we keep using the same deck because we keep complaining that we always get the same card or sort of, well, definitely one card we keep getting. We get a lot of repeats and it's like, I could just use a different deck, but I'm like, there are so many cards in here that we've never gotten. I know. And I always feel like it's a I good try- reading. It's even always if it's accurate, even if it's right. annoying. You know, that's how you know something is a good reading is when it's like, I didn't want to hear that, but damn, did I need to? That's I a know. good reading. And that's usually what we get from this one. I so we're, we're sticking with a good thing. Well, so we're using the Enchanted Map Oracle deck by Colette baron Reed as per usual. And as per usual, I am going to split the deck into thirds. And so you can either kind of pause and think about, do I want like a message about, you know, what do I want a message about? A, if you just want to like receive a message without having any intention, that's fine too. You can either decide I want my card to be the left, the middle or the right, or my preference is always 
read them together. Let's see what as story like a, the cards tell all together. Right, as like a sort of here, here, like a past, present, future or something like that, right? Yeah, what mm-hmm. story do they tell when you add them up? Um, so if you want to ask a question or maybe take a quick pause and mm-hmm. and set your intention for what you want clarity around. Could, and if you're just here for whatever, then that's kind of where I'm at today. We're just here to see what the message wants to tell us uh-huh. and you'll figure out what the question was later. <laughs> sure. I'm also going to add a third way you could interpret this. Okay. Sometimes I'm feeling called to do that today. Okay. You know, it gets dangerous when I feel called to do things because then <laughs> weird things happen, right? So you could also do, instead of past, present, future, you could also do like where I find myself, the nature of the problem and the solution. Mm, yeah. I okay. think I like that. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. So just let's see. All right. All right. Woo, okay. Choices. Here we go. I'm splitting it. I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. It's going to be complicated because I see you moving decks around. Interesting. Okay. What are you talking? I'm not moving them around. I'm just trying to find space for no, them to sit. No, I know, sit. but it seemed like you switched them. Okay. No, I didn't. I was not doing anything sleight of hand. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know magic. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Like, I thought maybe card. you just felt called to put one in the middle and one. No. Oh, okay. No, I was okay. just trying to get it not to fall off this table. <laughs> okay. Just logistics. Okay. All right. If you picked the left card. This is your Or card. the past. Uh, past. Or, or the where nature you find of the yourself. situation. Right no, now. where you find yourself. Where you find yourself. Okay. Yeah. That's the card we're on. <laughs> Whichever one you want, all right? This is all going to be for our highest good, okay? Okay. Oh, making a choice. Number 30. I don't, hmm, I don't know if we've had that one. I don't know. It, okay, so there's like a stone road in the air and it forks. And there's two doors. There's one that has like, what is that? There's some birds coming out of it. There's like, it looks almost like a spring and there's like a, like a tree. And then the other one is more like purple pink skies and maybe mountain and butterflies instead of birds on that side. It really is like a fork in the road. It is a fork. It's, this is what it looks like. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So go ahead. Making a choice. Okay. There's always a little quote at the beginning. This time it's, you're required to come to a decision now. Interesting. Kind of setting up this whole, mm-hmm. this whole reading. Mm-hmm. You're faced with a dilemma or a fork in the road and must make a conscious choice regarding the next right action. Whatever that choice is, you must take responsibility for it, yet you needn't be afraid. You may not have all the answers right now because the way ahead can't be known until you've embarked and traveled a few steps. Trust your intuition. Ask for a sign from spirit and you will be led to the right path. If you remain conscious and aware, your choice will be the right one at this time. Life is always about learning. Success lies in choosing consciously, guided by intuition and spirit. Okay. okay. All right. I is like it, that as a, if you're thinking of this as a where you find yourself. We're setting it up. Sitting in front of a fork in the road is a great start to a mm-hmm. story. So it is, or it, it's a good, maybe that's the past. Set up. <laughs> maybe that's the past and you had to make a choice. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So now we're going to go to the middle card. Okay. So either that's, if you just like one card, that's fine. That's your card. This is going to be your card. In which case, your guidance there was trust your intuition. If yeah. you have to make a choice, that's that's the main takeaway here. Trust the, trust spirit and trust your intuition Ask for a to sign. choose the right one. Yeah. And also just, it's a learning adventure. Mm-hmm. So like, you're not going to really get it wrong. It'll be okay no matter what. I think what. that's probably the, under, the subtext. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we got the middle card. So that would either be present or the nature of the problem. Okay. Okay. Golden Palace, number 23. We've gotten this one before. We have. It's a palace um, sitting on sort of an outcropping of roots and jungle. It's it's golden, as one might have imagined from that (laughs) card. Okay, go ahead. Okay, the quote at the beginning, there is always enough. It's a good start. Okay. The Golden Palace card represents good fortune, ambitions fulfilled, wealth, and prosperity. Okay. Mm -hmm. It may also indicate emotional fulfillment as perhaps you're entering a time of happiness that's long overdue. The Mm -hmm. message here is that self-worth isn't measured by what you have, no matter how abundant your life is. Instead, it comes from what you are, how authentically you're living your life and how much love you're willing to share. Granted, receiving this card does indicate material gain and a furthering of tangible rewards. But things come and go, and knowing your true value leads to even greater riches now. 
share the wealth. Well, if that's your present, that's a good card to get. Mm-hmm. If that's the nature of the problem. That's interesting. <laughs> well, but it, it could mean that you're, especially if you see this in light of having to make a choice, you might get that card and it might be shining a light on what you're worried about, right? Like, am I going to get, is, am I going to have abundance? Mm-hmm. Is there enough? Is there enough? Uh, if it felt like there was some scarcity. Yeah. Then this is reframing the problem. Yeah. Right. Okay. Interesting. Okay. And Making then, a choice. That there's path. always enough. Uh-huh. And then. And then, okay. So then there's our future card and or our right card and or our solution card. <laughs> just yeah. to overly I'm complicate it. i as many choices, <laughs> choices as you want. Please tell me it's not. It's not our card. You have got to be kidding me. Oh my God. I think I need to throw this deck out. <laughs> It, at this point, it's like are a there cosmic actually joke. like no eight of those no, in the I've deck. I looked. There's not. <laughs> All right. Oh, I mean, oh do you have it memorized yet? Twenty six. <laughs> Deep freeze. Deep. I shuffled this. You are so. She was much. shuffling the whole well, introduction. It's, Kristen, it's our fault because we keep talking about it. We keep energizing it. We keep like <laughs> this. This keeps happening for a reason. And yet. I believe the universe wanted to give us a different card. It would give us a different damn card. I cannot believe this. I, I am like, astounded. At I this. feel like we've had more <laughs> readings with this card than without. I agree. No, no, no. Like <laughs> I think like that's almost accurate. all of them. I think all but one have had this card since we started doing this, at least in the last, since January, 2020, almost two years. I want to say sorry to everyone, but I'm not going to because there's- How, Who are we to apologize? We're just the deliverers. I don't oh. know why this one keeps the coming up. who read do I definitely have an energetic <laughs> impact on the message. And so if we keep energizing it, it might keep showing mm-hmm. up. But okay, again. All right. All right. You've heard it before. Let's read Let's it again. Let's read it again. <laughs> Here's our little quote oh at the beginning. Oh my God. Everything has its season. Now is the time to put activity on hold while you rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are we just really bad at this? I think that might be it. Like, not reading, just resting. I mean, Continue. it's about winter and we are going into winter. So maybe it's just Kristen, purely seasonal. Kristen, we've gotten this card in every season. That's not the explanation. I Keep know. going. The cold winter beckons you to slow down and put a freeze on things that are not yet ready to bloom. It's time for regeneration and hibernation. Forgo ambitious activity. A pregnant pause allows ideas to gestate, projects to shift and change, and relationships to go through a dreamy state of being, not going anywhere and not needing to. This is also a time to put all of your arguments on ice. Nothing beneficial will come from any of them. Self-care is the most important activity now. So reflect, read a good book, or get a massage. Rest and dream. You know, as I read this again, I just think this is the message. Maybe all of us, our our listeners, uh, we just need it all the time. It's like life is just going so fast all the time. Every time I get this, I get why. I understand why. Can I pull a clarifier card? Because sometimes we do that. Like in real, like when real people read, because we're not real actual people. intuitives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They often will pull a clarifier to be like, why is this coming up? Like, can you please give us an answer on this? Um, and so I think we should maybe pull a clarifier, but let's first talk about how they all fit. How do those, yeah, how does all fit? So, like, if you're doing a past, present, future, making a choice, recognizing that you, you are currently at a, have enough you were well you were at a fork in the road you mm-hmm. made a choice you may have wondered if it was the right choice you may have been sort of agonizing i don't know about whether or not i don't know was that the most abundant choice for me to make is that going to lead me to a golden palace right and maybe and that that's in the works validation that that's where we're at or that's we're in the process of of going there and, and you don't have to do anything else anymore exactly so you've like, already made you the choice of, right now you can just rest, relax, and receive. I think the, the abundance is in the works. Like mm-hmm. it's coming together in present time. But, you know, yeah, the solution is actually, you don't have to do anything. I do love that answer. I, that's always yeah, nice that's to hear. Good. You don't have to do anything else. You've done what you need. You've made the choice. And the abundance is 
going to come of, of you or making you will that make the choice aligned choice and then that's it let it be right the abundance will come so okay all right all right give me give me all right here all right all right universe please a clarifier that will help us explain can you hear her shuffling as much as human possible <laughs> all right this is the one i've never gotten this one 54 it's really adorable encouragement it's I a baby giraffe and a mama picture. giraffe and they're cuddling well read it 54 they're nuzzling noses 54 maybe the okay so well i don't even need you to read it to know i asked the universe what is why do we keep getting the same goddamn card and the card that came out was the encouragement card <laughs> so let's read that go okay. ahead okay here's our little quote you are receiving a nudge in the right direction a, a nudge or a, a how hammer many to the head? do we need? <laughs> Continue. A two by four. This card tells you that you're being gently encouraged to step into your power, into the dream of your life. New things are out there to be explored and the nurturing power of the universe is giving you a nudge in the right direction. You will get the help you need and won't be alone in your quest. Every step you take right now is supported by the wisdom of the universe. You are on the right path keep going. That's it. You're on. Mm. You don't have to do anything else. You'll be let you, the universe will let you know when it's time to do something else. That's it. God damn it. The universe is always, I mean, doing that. It's Hold on. Let me see that. It's the perfect clarifier. It really like that. I'm so annoyed by how perfect that answer was. We were wondering, did we, did we screw this up? Did we no. energetically no, attract this card. A, no, no, it's on purpose. We're we're trying to help you, you morons. <laughs> is what it's saying, gently and lovingly. <laughs> You're on the right path. Keep going. Fine. Mm. <laughs> or, but like, keep going. But again, the answer is you don't have to do anything if well, it's not the right time. And it says you will be led. Right. When the next step, yeah, is revealed, or when you need to do something else, you will you will be led. In the meantime, you can rest and receive. Okay. All right. Message received. Reluctantly. <laughs> and we're using a different deck next time. I have to take a break <laughs> from this deck. I can't. <laughs> that is so wild. Okay. Well, here we go again. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> you know, I think that it. I don't do this often enough, but I really should, is that sometimes it's helpful to go back and listen to readings that like we had a couple of months ago, not just ours, but like sometimes if I had like a crazy month, it's helpful to go back and listen to like a reading that I had ahead of that month or something, because then you can go, Oh, wow. Yeah. In hindsight, I see sense. how that came through or I see. And so I think readings are helpful as forward thinking, looking things, but they're also interesting in hindsight. So I don't know, it might be fun to go back and listen to September's reading and see, did that, how did, how did that play out? How did that play out over September and October, basically until mm -hmm. this one? Yeah, that's happened multiple also, times in other uh, tarot or astrological readings I've had where you go back and listen, you were like, that sounds interesting. And then in retrospect, you're like, oh, I got yeah. it. Makes sense now. Yeah. Also, I will say the deep freeze card comes up, but it always comes up in a different place. And the energy of it is so different based on the other cards. True. The message is slightly, I don't know, like the lens through which you see it is different based on the cards that are with it. I think we're all just too busy. I think that's the real message. We all have too much yeah. going on. We're what, too... Let's, play, let's blame it on them. That's a good idea. Let's just... Well, I think the world, <laughs> frankly, is kind of too big. I think it's I not just us as individuals. I think yeah. I this guess, is just like, slow down. I guess slow we're down. just... We're all trying to do, do more. Well, at least the kind of people who we are and who are in our mm -hmm. orbit are prone to wanting to like do something and fix something. And like, it's like, no, but you're, you're going to have to just slow down and like rest and allow things to happen. And, and you're like, no, I don't like that. <laughs> and then it's like, well, you're being encouraged to do that. So shut up. <laughs> We are but the baby giraffe and the universe is the mama giraffe trying to nudge us <laughs> gently in the right direction. But we're kind of awkward mm -hmm. and gangly and but don't want to so lay cute. down. We just want to like gallop or something. I don't know. <laughs> Giraffes gallop? I guess they kind of do. They kind of do. <sighs> so fine. All right. All right. Well, let us know. As always, please let us know how this resonated, how yeah. you needed to hear this. 
right now. Yeah. Okay. And, and then we'll see you next time. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to shake it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm bringing out a different deck. I can't like at some point you're just like, well, if I want something different, I have to create a different result. <laughs> I have to, you know, it's fine. I love this deck, but I just don't know how many times I can take that. <laughs> I'm at this point, I could probably recite the message to you <laughs> without even having to look it up. Like, okay, <laughs> what am I not getting? Clearly, we are not <laughs> getting something. Oh. Um, uh. Okay, so that was that. And we will be back. Um, well, I was about to say, we'll be back with another <laughs> message from the universe in two months. Um, we'll be back next Friday with a new episode of Dear Crate That's right. Okay, we'll see you then. Bye.